Saving money can be hard, but savings challenges make it a lot more fun. Today, we're gonna to be talking about savings challenges that you can do to speed up your savings and to make sure that you are saving as much as you can in the new year. I am gonna share several different savings challenges that you can use to stack your money and achieve all of your financial goals. These are technically savings challenges, but you can use the money for anything you want. You can invest it, you can buy a car, you can pay off debt. You can turn these into anything that you need. They are designed to help you save a certain amount of money that you need within a certain time frame. So now let's look at some of the savings challenges that you might wanna try out if you're trying to save money. The first savings challenge that we're gonna look at is a quick win. It is saving $1,000 in 30 days. So this savings challenge is a great one to start out with if you have never saved any amount of money before or if you need to save up quickly for a starter emergency fund or any sort of bill that you need to pay in 30 days. There are multiple options here. So I have a couple of different options. So you're saving a different amount every day for 30 days. So there's some days where it's $5, some days where it's 45. Then I have a couple that are a little more structured where you're saving the same amount of money every single day. You can transfer the money to a savings account every single day, move money over, or you can get out cash and put it in a cash envelope. Anything you wanna do to save up that $1,000 by using the savings challenge where you save a certain amount per day. The next couple challenges are 52 week savings plans. So these 52 week savings challenges basically have every single week of the year listed and a certain amount that you save per year. So on the basic 52 week savings challenge, you save $1 for the first week, $2 for the second week, all the way up to saving $52 for the last week of the year. At the end of the year, you have $1,378 saved. So you just save the amount, put that money in your savings and check it off when you're done. And that gets you to $1,378 at the end of the year. The next challenge is very similar, but you are saving $20 bills. Every single week, you're going to set aside $20 for the 52 week $20 savings challenge. So this is very similar, but every single week you are putting aside $20. So that first week you have 20, and then after four weeks you have 80, then at the end of the year you have $1,040. That's just $20 a week, you can save it, you can transfer it to another account, or again, every single week get a $20 bill and put it aside in a cash envelope or a safe, something in your home, so that at the end of the year you have $1,040. These next savings challenges are my absolute favorite. They are the most fun one I came up with because it helps you save a huge amount of money in one year. So first we have the $10,000 savings challenge. So in one year, you can save $10,000 by following this challenge. Every single week, you can pick an amount on this chart, save it, put it into your savings. If you follow it and do all of them once a week for the entire year, you're gonna have $10,000. It's a great way to really have a plan to put that money aside. And you can also adjust it if you're doing the one with the smaller and larger amounts so that you're putting in small amounts when you don't have as much money and bigger amounts when you have a lot of cash to save. The next challenge is similar, but you double your money. So the next one is saving up $20,000 in one year. There are several options to this challenge as well. I have multiple options of almost all of these so that you can make it a little more flexible and put it in your life in a way that makes sense. So for this $20,000 in one year savings challenge, this one is honestly the best thing I've ever created because it gives you a certain amount per week that you save and some of them seem like a lot. Yes, $450 in a week can be a lot, but there's also weeks on here where it's $100. So you can kind of adjust like the $10,000 one, but you're just putting more money aside. So if you have some really, really big goals like saving for a home down payment, you might wanna use this $20,000 in one year savings challenge so that you can put aside a lot of money to achieve those big goals. The final savings challenge we're gonna talk about today is a little bit different, but it's basically using your spending habits and your desire to spend to save money. So you fill out these little cards each week with how much you wanted to spend. Basically, when you see something and you think about buying it, instead of making that impulse purchase, you write it down. Then at the end of the week, you have a total amount that you had thought about spending during the week but decided not to. Take that amount and then put it in your savings. This is a fun thing to do, but also can get kind of expensive if you're really paying attention and tracking those internal urges. So when you're writing down the things that you could have spent and you might have bought, 
you instead put that money in savings, it can really, really add up. So this one is great for adding to a no spend challenge or just doing it as a savings challenge different times during the year when you might wanna be spending more, but instead you really wanna focus on savings. So just tally it up, move it to savings, and you will be on your way to a really nice, hefty savings account. All of these savings challenges are available on my website. They, most of them are in a savings challenge bundle that I have on my website for under $10. So you can get all of them so that you're prepared to do multiple savings challenges next year, or the year after. You can use these again and again for whenever you need a little bit of a boost for your savings. I will leave the link down in the description box below for them on the website. You can also get them in my Money Printables library. This is something where I have all of the printables I've created so far and all of the printables that I will create in the future will be added. The savings challenge guide also has some tips for savings. So I hope that all together, this is really helpful for you and helps you achieve whatever goals you have, whether it's saving up $1,000 for the first time or saving $20,000 to hit a big financial goal. Remember that no matter what your savings goal is, you are capable of doing it and I will be here to cheer you along the way. Definitely make sure you subscribe and check out this next video to learn a little bit more about how you can save some money.